Hey, let's look at some everyday problems here. My wife has informed me that the stopper in the bathtub won't stay stopped. So, this is really not a good reason to call a plumber. These, these things are not very complicated. Basically, two screws and this whole system comes right out. These stoppers are kind of important if you got little kids, like, like I do right now. They like to fill the tub up with water and play. But when the adults want to take a shower, you want the stopper to work. Alright. So, we just lift this straight up. There's the linkage, and here is the stopper. And just a quick inspection here, I can see the problem is a rusted spring. You see this little triangular piece down here under the spring. Well, the spring keeps pressure, so when it's here, it, it locks. And as you roll over to this side, it locks. But since our spring is rusted and corroded and gone, it's not going to work. This requires a trip to the hardware store. Now I did a quick search and this part right here called the trip lever faceplate is about $10 down at the big box store. But at my local hardware store, this spring is $1.99. All I need to do is shorten it up so that it fits in the linkage. So far we've got a screwdriver involved in this and then we're going to get a pair of pliers involved in it. Pull this pin out right here. This little cotter pin's reusable so don't lose it. We'll set that aside. Now on the face lever plate, these little plastics, you turn to lock them, these little plastic keepers, they come right off. We'll take our spring off. This plate here, I don't think we need to take off. But we do need to figure out about how long a spring we need to have. All right, we've got the spring out of the trip lever plate we're going to hold this in place and see about how long a spring we need i'm guessing about three coils to do it now we're going to get a bigger pair of pliers involved i'm going to use a dremel tool to cut the spring and i'm going to use a bigger pair of pliers to kind of manipulate the cut spot into a flat end one, two, three. This spring is just a tad big. But it's sharpened 
shop in the local hardware store, and I do suggest you stop shop at these small stores. It makes a huge difference in your local economy. All right. And we'll see. What I was saying earlier is now we've got some tension on this. It pushes the plate against this one flat spot. And as it rolls over, it locks the other flat spot. All right. There's nothing wrong with my brass linkage. There's nothing wrong with my plunger, so I'm going to reuse all that. Pardon me while I fumble with, with, with my hands a little bit. All right. Once you got your cotter pin back in, you'll want to. Give it just a little spread so it stays. Doesn't need much, but there it is. That's a dollar ninety nine repair. All right, we're ready to put this back in. One thing I want to point out is there's a cutout along the bottom of this face plate. That cutout needs to be down, all right? You don't want it upside down because what happens is when your tub overflows, this cutout allows water to go down the drain before it runs out onto your floor. So cut out down. We'll feed the stopper back down the hole, feed the linkage in behind it. Face painted, face plate in place locate the screw holes we'll snug them up one other thing I'll point out to you on this is the parts behind this are plastic so when I say snug these up, that's exactly what we're doing. When they get tight, you're gonna stop. Because when you strip them out, you're gonna be back to buying that $10 part that we didn't want. So there it is, two fingers. That's a good indicator right there, all right? What I'm doing is I'm using two fingers to hold the screwdriver and when I can't turn it anymore with two fingers, that's plenty tight. Look at there. Works as advertised. I'll just say this, guys. Happy wife, happy life. Simple fix, $1.99.